Today we're going to talk about the principle tell don't ask. The design principle tell don't ask. Tell don't ask is a design principle whose intent is to reduce control coupling. Now, what is control coupling? Control coupling is when one object is very concerned about controlling the control flow of another object. In other words, when one object is really concerned about telling another object when it's supposed to do things. When in fact that object itself could itself control when it should or should not do particular things. It's actually a very simple design principle that can have immensely positive consequences for the design of your code. So this principle is probably most easily understood by considering an example. So consider this. Assume that you have a class called fish and the fish can do two things. It can eat and it can also, you can also ask whether it is hungry. So the fish class has two instance methods. One is uh, is hungry, which returns a bool, and the other method is eat, which is a mutating method that essentially causes the fish to eat. So assume then that the user of fish, the user, say the program that has, or the ocean or whatever, that has an instance of fish, let's say that that program first calls is hungry and uses that in an if statement to switch over whether the fish is hungry or not and then depending on the answer decides whether to feed the fish or not to feed the fish. This is essentially control coupling. The outside, i.e. the user of the fish, is very concerned about the internal state of the fish and uses that information to determine whether or not the fish should be fed. But tell don't ask says that actually this is reversed. The thing is that the fish knows whether it should be fed or not. So that state should not necessarily leak to the outside. So now if you think about the naming of this principle, the naming is tell don't ask. So what we're currently doing is that we're asking the fish about its internal state and then making a decision on behalf of the fish. Tell don't ask essentially says that we should do the opposite. We should simply tell the fish to eat and then the fish uses its own internal state to determine whether it's hungry or not, and in other words, whether it should be fed or not. And if you think about this, this actually makes a whole lot of sense. So to generalize, consider it like so. Whenever you are asking an object about its internal state and then making a decision on the behalf of the object, you should ask yourself the question whether perhaps the decision that you want to make could be determined by the object itself. So in other words, tell don't ask. Tell the object what to do instead of asking it something and then deciding upon its behalf. And again, the point of this being that we reduce control coupling. There are many other forms of coupling, but I'll talk about those in another more specific video. So, whoa, so be sure to subscribe so you won't miss the next discussion. There's plenty of stuff coming on programming. And now I just got to make sure I'm not crashing on this bike. So see you next time. Biking and talking about cold is more difficult than I thought.